I'd like to call the 14th regular meeting of the 2021 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? If you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alder Person Ackley? Here. Alder Person Bourne? Alder Person Bourne? Oh, we'll come back. Alder Person Decker? Here. Alder Person Donahue? Alder Person Feldy? Here. Alder Person Mitchell? Here. Alder Person Phillips? Alder Person Savaglio? Present. Alder Person Sorensen? Here. Alder Person Felicki Paneski? Alder Person Felicki Paneski? Alder Person Bourne? Uh, here, I was out of the room for a minute. Okay, thank you. Alder Person Donahue? Here. Alder Person Phillips? Here. Alder Person Felicki Paneski? Do you see her? No, not there. Okay. Nine present. And uh, Alder Person Felicki Paneski is excused uh, if she doesn't come on shortly. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item is the approval of the minutes from our 13th regular council meeting, which was held on October 5th. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from our previous meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those motion, the motion or the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is public forum, city clerk. There is no one this evening. Okay, then we'll go on to uh, mayor's announcements. Uh, first of all, we'd like to do a COVID-19 update and review the numbers uh, for Monday, October 19th. Uh, currently we have 3,616 uh, positive cases. That's up 720 from uh, last week of 2,896. We currently have 674 active cases and that's up by 219 cases. We have 2,101 people who have tested positive and recovered. We currently have 26 people in the hospital, and that's a scary one. That's up 16 from last week. We have our 21st death, and this is a tough one because I know the person, uh, up one from last week. And the negative test numbers came down quite a bit by 15,000. And this is a change in the way that uh, we, we calculate this number, and I'll explain that shortly. A number of weeks ago, the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health provided some guidance as to how to trick or treat safely. Since that original guidance was sent out, a lot has changed in our local data and the positive case burden rate in our county. Between September 9th and 22nd, Sheboygan County had an average of 19 positive cases a day over a two week period. Our burden rate was 270 positive cases per 1,000 residents. 
In that two week period, Sheboygan County had a high activity level. Over the last two week period, from September 30th through uh, October 15th, Sheboygan County had an average of 56 positive cases a day. Our burden rate is currently 782 positive cases per thousand residents. This is a 290% increase in positive cases per 1,000 residents and has moved Sheboygan County into a very high activity level. On October 6th, public health, in collaboration with a number of our health care systems and the business community, issued a public health emergency. On Friday, October 16th, based on this large increase in cases in Sheboygan County, the Division of Public Health has issued a formal recommendation to the community that trick-or-treating is not currently recommended. Additionally, Aurora Healthcare's uh, pediatrician group also issued a formal statement which specifically recommends against trick-or-treating within the Sheboygan community. Because of the number of positive cases, our local schools starting today are only holding virtual classes for the next two weeks. And due to the change in the number of positive COVID-19 cases, this new direction from the public health officer that trick-or-treating and Halloween is not currently recommended, the city of Sheboygan will rescind the previous notice that trick-or-treating can proceed with safety measures. And again, follow the directive of the public health department to recommend against trick-or-treating this Halloween. This week, you will notice a change in the number of negative cases in the reports. Since the tracking of COVID-19 cases began, the Sheboygan County Public Health Department has counted every test that has been administered. This means that if one patient had three tests prior to a positive test, there were four te tests altogether that were recorded. The state of Wisconsin has tracked the negative test differently by tracking only the final results for every individual. So if the four tests described above would only register as one negative test until a subsequent positive test uh, came in. This is the reason that the negative test results have contracted so much this last week because of the change in this reporting method. The recent increase in positive no COVID-19 cases has caused the highest number of patients in the area hospital since the pandemic began. The current hospitalizations at Aurora and St. Nicholas have filled the COVID units that they have. Both hospitals um, are, are only between them. There's only two beds in the, in, in, in the ICU that are left available. Remember to always wear a mask, keep social distance, wash your hands, and do that often. Tonight on the agenda, the 11th neighborhood is requesting uh, council approval to become a formal neighborhood association and join the mayor's neighborhood leadership cabinet. Each neighborhood has to elect leaders for their association. I'd like to introduce the leaders of the Keeney Park neighborhood, uh, Abby Block and Adam Rathel, who are with us today. Tomorrow on Tuesday the 19th, in-person absentee voting will begin at City Hall on the first floor. For the protection of voters and the city clerk staff, all voters should be wearing a mask when they enter City Hall. This week, in-person absentee voting is available from 8 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. And on Saturday, they're keeping hours from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And the last day of in-person absentee voting is going to be Friday, October 30th. You can also register for the City of Sheboygan's Landlord Training Program, which is taking place on Tuesday, November 3rd, from 5.30 to 9.30, right here at City Hall in the Council Chambers. The registration deadline is Friday, October 30th, and cost is $10. Uh, a registration form can be downloaded on the, from sheboyganwi.gov slash landlord dash training dash 2020. And next Monday here in the council chambers, uh, we will be conducting a hearing on the 2021 budget. That hearing will take place at six o'clock. Thank you very much. Mayor, I had a question if you don't mind. Go ahead, Jim. 
Uh, do I understand you correctly that there will be no trick-or-treating now? Uh, I had a call from a constituent this morning on that, and I didn't quite understand what you said. Yes, that's correct. Uh, trick-or-treating is not recommended. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.3 through 2.7. Alderperson Sorensen. Thanks, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs and receive all reports of committees and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That motion has uh, all the items on the consent agenda before us for discussion. Is there any items that you'd like to discuss? Seeing no questions, will the clerk please call the roll? Meredith, I'm going to vote aye. I've lost my uh, board docs. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Nine ayes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 3.1 through 3.5 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 is resolution number 104 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue and Boren, authorizing submitting a substantial amendment to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Community Development Black Grant Program for the 2019-2020 program year for CDBG CV3. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. As an initial matter, I move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Uh, I move to adopt the resolutions. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Items 4.2 through 4.10 under resolutions will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 5.1 is RC number 162 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom is referred resolution number 102 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue and Boren, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an amendment to offer purchase with Martin's True Value Hardware and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you. I move to uh, receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 163 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 101 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue and Boren, awarding the sale of 11 million three hundred and uh, rather $435,000 in taxable general obligation refunding bond series 2020 D and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, I move to adopt the resolution. Uh, second, uh, we do have to amend that, Mary Lynn. Thank you for uh, that. Go ahead, Jim. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, under discussion, Mayor. Under discussion, the amended amount from our earlier Finance and Personnel Committee would be $11,510,000. I'm going to make the following motion to amend. Uh, the, the motion to amend would be to amend the resolution to one, increase the amount of the bonds to be issued from $11,435,000 to $11,510,000. 
which includes updating the amount identified in the resolution title, section 1A and section two, and two, to incorporate the exhibits provided by Wisconsin Public Finance Professionals based on the bids received today. I still move the amendment. Second. Thank you for the, the, the motion and support on, a, on the amendment. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Amendment passes. So then we're voting on the um, main motion as amended. Is there any discussion on that motion? I was just, uh, Mayor, I was just going to mention for the people that weren't at the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting, the uh, the interest rate, uh, the, the new interest rate is 2.15%. And the winning, winning, winning bidder is Piper Sandler uh, Company of Chicago. We were originally hope, hoping for a, a rate of 1.93, but it came in at 2.15. And Carol had mentioned to that uh, to us the reason for that is the vast number of uh, transactions going on this week. There are already 41 booked. Thanks for that information, Alderperson Barn. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Items 5.3 through 5.5 will be referred to various committees. Under matters laid over, item 7.1 is resolution number 98 of 2021 by Alderperson Ackley, officially recognizing the Keeney Park Neighborhood Association. Alderperson Ackley. Alderperson Ackley, we need a motion to adopt the resolution. I apologize. I was having mic issues there. I'd like to make a motion. The, the motion is. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second to adopt the resolution. Is there any discussion? Uh, it's great to see the 11th Neighborhood Association officially recognized. So we'll take a voice vote. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Aye.